Hey guys, Fred Take Up here, and this is the Vanilla Techno Camon 19. Yeah, you heard right, meaning it is the best model of the Camon 19 series. As some of you already know, I have made videos on the Camon 19 Pro as well as the Camon 19 Pro 5G. If you haven't seen those, I'll have links to it in the description box below. The Camon 19 is similar to the Spark 9 Pro in almost every metrics. And in this video, I'll be reviewing and sharing my honest thoughts with you guys so to help you make an informed purchase decision. Okay, for the unboxing experience, the Camo 19 comes with the similar accessories as we saw with the Camo 19 Pro. The first thing you notice when you open the box is a smartphone wrapping plastic that carries basic highlights of the device. After that, we've got a free 1.5GB of instant data from MTN. There is a 12 plus 1 month warranty card, a plastic silicone case, the earpiece, a USB Type-C charging cord with an 18 watt fast charger, and a SIM ejector tool. Moving back to the device, the Camo 19 carries the same design language as the more expensive sibling. There's basically no difference in the design other than the fact that the Camo 19 feels slightly less premium than the Pro series. Now, don't get me wrong, the device still looks beautiful and stunning. The general aesthetics and the choice of materials still live up to the hype that surrounds it. It is made entirely from plastic and it looks good. The color that I have here is called Sea Salt White and it looks okay. I love the matte finish that prevents smudges and fingerprints. At the rear of the device, we have two camera rings that houses a 64 megapixels main camera a 2 megapixel step sensor and a QVJ sensor for low light detection as well as a quad flashlight. The power button and volume controls are located at the right side of the device. The power button also functions as a fingerprint scanner. Speaking of the fingerprint scanner, it is very quick and responsive all the time and I have to say, uh, Techno has really gotten good with this. We have a SIM card tray on the left that can hold 2 nano SIM card as well as a micro SD card. At the bottom of the device houses a headphone jack, a microphone, a USB Type-C charging port and a speaker grill. The top of the device has a cutout for the earpiece and another microphone. For the speakers, the Camo 19 has a down-firing speaker that sounds okay but lack bass and overall clarity at max volume. Moving on to the display, the 6.8 inches device has a full HD Plus display with a punch hole at the front of the display. It has a resolution of 1080 by 2460 pixels and a pixel density of 395. The display is sharp, bright and enjoyable to watch YouTube videos and consume media content on. Sadly for the Camo 19, it lacks a faster refresh rate which would have helped in general responsiveness of the device. The Camo 19 display has a slimmer bezel all round except for the bottom chain. This is similar to what is found on the more expensive Camo 19 Pro. Okay, before we proceed, let's talk about our sponsor for today's video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators and people who want to learn new skills. You can learn skills like video editing, photography, web development, film and video production. For some time now, I started developing interest in motion graphics and animation, so I began learning after effects with Evans Abrams on the topic introduction to Adobe after effects getting started with motion graphics it is an in-depth tutorial on after effects and motion graphics in general and i tell you guys it has been really interesting so i really encourage you to sign up now and explore your creative capabilities on the plus side skillshare does not support ads and this means zero distraction on whatever you want to learn so if you're a creator or someone aspiring to become one, I encourage you to sign up now using the link below. And because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 1000 people to use the link below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare membership with full access to all the classes. Just use the link below and also see my pinned comment. Now let's proceed. On the performance aspect, the Camo 19 comes with the MediaTek Helio G85 CPU paired with 4 gigs of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. This is basically the same specs found on the Spark 9 Pro. There's also a version with 6GB of RAM, but the storage stays the same at 128GB. The device is fast and capable of handling most basic tasks. On the Antutu benchmarks, the Camo 19 Pro scored 210,000 
957, while Geekbench shows 349 on the single core score and 1246 on the multi core score, which is still decent for a mid range device. From the results shown here, these are entry level to mid range numbers, however, it is still capable of handling most 3D games at low to medium graphics settings. As usual, I played Call of Duty Mobile and the gameplay was okay with adjusted graphics settings. Raw performance is fine with 4 gigs of RAM and with memory fusion technology which adds extra 3 gigs of RAM making it 7 GB in total. Multitasking, opening apps and general performance is okay. However, the lack of a faster refresh rate makes scrolling feel slow and uninspiring. The Helo G85 is a decent processor but I would really appreciate it if Techno can retire it in its future mid-range devices for something more efficient and powerful. For the software, Android 12 is what comes with the Camon 19 and with a custom software which is HiOS 8.6. The whole software experience is fast and responsive. However, the Camon 19 still comes with Bluetooth which is something you can't do without in today's Android world. A little bit of housekeeping by uninstalling some of the unwanted apps will do you good. Now moving on to the camera department, the Camo 19 captures good looking daylight images with satisfactory amount of details, punchy colors, decent dynamic range and accurate exposure. However, I still believe there is room for improvement because there are some level of inconsistencies when it comes to colors and sharpness. I love how details and saturated most of the images appear which is somewhat closer to real life looking images. I would say though that Techno does a bit of AI processing with most of its images to make it look good. Portrait shot looks ok as well but not the best that I've seen from a mid range device. The 32 megapixel selfie camera is rock solid and I am very impressed with it. The selfie camera is very impressive and dynamic range looks good. I like how the selfie camera is able to retain more details and I also like the color reproduction, even though it is not consistent. Selfie portraits are also decent but not the best that I've seen. Kindly go through the images and tell me what you think about them in the comment section below. For videos, it shoots video in 2K resolution with no video stabilization and I must say I am very happy with the results, uh, most especially on height handle dynamic range. Alright guys, so this is the front facing camera of the Techno Camon 19, uh, currently shooting in 2K, 30 frames per second, and I'll say the footage looks great. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, it's suffering a little bit when it comes to dynamic range, in fact it is really struggling with dynamic range. As you can see, uh, the sky is lacking a whole lot of details, but uh, the footage itself looks alright, it looks great. Uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about the audio quality? Let me know down in the comment section below. All right. As for the battery, the Camo 19 comes with a 5,000 milliampere, which I feel will be more than enough for an average user. On a moderate use case, it can comfortably last the entire day on a single charge. Then, when it's time to juice it up, the included 18 watt fast charger took only two hours and five minutes to charge from zero to 100 percent. I think at this price point I've seen devices that can charge faster than this, but this is still ok. So in conclusion, this will be your cheapest option if you want to jump on the Camo 19 series. It offers little to no variation from the rest of the series. At 112,000 Naira, you are going to get a device with a very decent battery life, good camera and a somewhat premium feel. But for a lot cheaper, I would highly recommend you go for the Spark 9 Pro instead. The Spark 9 Pro is cheaper and I will say that the Camo 19 is a Spark 9 Pro in the Camo 19 body, if that makes sense. So that is it from me guys, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will talk to you in the very next one. Bye bye.